Hello, here's K2EFG. Uh, a couple of days before field day, I'm going to try to install a magnetic antenna on my car. I got to use that magnetic antenna during field day because I'm going to my friend Tony's uh, uh, beach bash. So um, field day is going to have to be operated mobile for the first half of the day. The second half I'll be in, uh, uh, I'm planning to be in uh, Fort Lee Historical Park. So I uh, acquired this MFJ3 magnet antenna that you see behind me and I'm going to uh, try to install it and the here's how you do it. The first piece is to uh, put up the magnetic portion. It's very difficult to move, uh, but I would uh, advise to um, have at least uh, three or four inches away from the car so there's enough uh, field in, uh, in terms of uh, a resonance, as well as there's a second antenna next to it I moved it as far as I could away so there's a little interference as possible. This happens to be a, a 440 2 meter antenna. So um, this is the initial base installation. Now we're going to see how we're going to adjust the antenna for 20 meters. So the antenna and, comes uh, in two parts. This black part here is the uh, fiberglass portion. You'll see that this is going right into the base. And here we have the connector to the second pass, which is just the metal whip. Here's a metal whip. Can you see it? Where is it? Here's a metal whip. And it too has an adjustable portion. Notice this is already adjusted because I already tuned it. But uh, you can uh, see those uh, little uh, uh, hex uh, screws here. There's a hex screwdriver that comes with the antenna. And you can open those screws and adjust the length uh, to uh, have good resonance. To uh, install the antenna, you simply uh, put one inside the other, like so. And you can see the hex uh, antenna, uh, hex uh, um, screws here. Uh, and if you want to adjust them, the antenna comes with the hex screwdriver that you can then uh, use to adjust it. This portion moves up and down uh, depending on how you want to adjust it. If you are, I started with uh, just putting it at maximum length and it resonated very nicely at 13.6 uh, uh, megahertz. That wasn't good enough. I'm trying to get to 14.230, which is the middle of the band for 20 meters. So I shortened the antenna to allow it to work on higher frequencies. If for some reason it will resonate well at 15 megahertz, I would have to lengthen the antenna to make it um, at 14.2 uh, megahertz. However, um, this is now resonated. All I gotta do is close these screws and uh, tighten them for uh, stress release and they will be ready to go. I'll show you in a minute. So this is how I tighten the antenna and now it's ready for installation on the magnetic base. These screws are tight, and uh, the antenna is now ready. This is, uh, this is a process that took me some time to take it on and off the base until, resonate, until it resonates at the frequency that I desired. Okay, we're we'll getting ready to, installation, to install. This is a very simple installation. Just screw it in. It's um, sufficiently strong to uh, sustain the wind up to, I believe, 50 miles per hour. Uh, and uh, here we go. Uh, by the way, Okay, and here we are, all set up. Notice that this is now with two little pieces of uh, duct tape. Uh, I use the red color, it's good to indicate the uh, caution. And now we're going to take a look at the SWR meter on this, um, on this uh, um, antenna. Let's see what we get. This should be resonating very nicely. At 1.5 SWR right here at 14.275 middle of the band and that should be okay also going up and going down the 20 meter band um, 
I will tell you that I'm going to use a battery for this installation because I'm not going to um, I'm not going to use the car battery because it introduces noise into the transmission. So next I'm going to just have to snake the cable through my open window here and I'll be ready for mobile. With this, this is uh, K2EFG wishing you a happy field day and 7-3.